Hi, this is our 1948 Chevrolet Fleetmaster Woody Wagon. Uh, it's a great car. It actually has a really, really nice history on it. Same owner for 55 consecutive years. Uh, during that ownership, he did a complete nut bolt frame off restoration on the vehicle, which awarded him an AACA senior first prize. And then the next year, a grand national first prize winner from the uh, American or Antique Automobile Club of America. Great honor to have. Uh, very, very well done, Woody. In fact, it's probably the nicest 48 Chevy Woody I've ever seen. Probably one of the nicest Chevrolet Woodies I've ever seen, to be honest with you. If you take a look at it, the chrome is wonderful. The paint is just gorgeous. You come down, the wood's nicely finished. And it has been pieced together with little bits of Woody, kind of, you typically see on some Woody restorations, where they'll, they'll piece in just some areas that got damaged. This one is really nice. The, the wood is very uniform all the way throughout it. Come around to the back and show you some great features of the car. As we look back here, you can see, uh, if you just look up to the front, there's a great view here of that beautiful ceiling. It's just really, really nicely finished out. Uh, these lamps are actually pretty cool. When you put the rear tailgate down, they actually pivot up like this, so when the top, the back's down, if you're hauling like uh, lumber or long items, maybe a canoe or something, uh, the lights would actually point out in the correct direction. If you come around the side, we have great features. <clears throat> you still have the uh, rear fender skirts. And if you look in here, again, really nice to use. Even things like the uh, the sill plates, how nice and crisp they are. And you still have your Fisher, De your Fisher emblems here. We'll go around to the front side here and let you guys get into the car. Some of the nice things too is, uh, what's you got? here's our, our vent, as you can see there. That really draws in a lot of fresh air. If you look at this, the detail on this, how beautiful this, this faux wood finish is. This is all hand painted. And it's really nice. It's actually kind of hard to see because of that on the sun glare on it right now. Uh, but if you look via our website, you can actually see some really good photos of it. We'll just turn the ignition on. Air up and down is ignition on to the sides is actually off. You can tell because the gauges here will start moving when the ignition is on. As you can see, we'll rev the engine a little bit. You can see all our, our, uh, we're up to temperature. Our amp gauge does work as does the oil pressure gauge. And we'll go for a little ride here. I'll show you the speedometer working. Uh, your wipers here. So they do work. The original AM radio. We'll, uh, we'll let it warm up here as we turn it on. And we'll turn that radio off <laughs> until we can tune it in. It's kind of it's kind of loud. Uh, the car does have blinkers which is a really nice feature. They're over here on the side. You can see that the speedometer is working. And a very smooth shifting transmission. If you look there, we're uh, 225 miles. We believe that's, that's the restoration. Like I said, it was really lovingly owned by the, the last owner for 55 years. Uh, he was very active in the AACA. And, uh, and just spent an insane amount of time restoring this and it's like I said, nut and bolt restoration to the highest standards. If you'd like to see uh, more photos of this car, the undercarriage and so forth, uh, nice little detailed photos like the, uh, the sticker up there, the 1948 taxes sticker, all little nice, real nice features like that. Uh, under carriages that all around the car and a full description in this history. Please visit our website, stlouiscarmuseum.com. Thanks a lot.